Hi. We're going to talk about how we can arrange three circles of uh, different dimensions. They could even be of the same dimension, but let's just complicate the situation a little bit so that uh, you know we talk about a solution to put three circles together this way. Now we've got A, B, and C, all of different dimensions. There is a 6 mm gap between A and C. This is just to complicate the situation a little further. All right. Now, how do we get circle? Now, to get A and C is quite easy, you know, for the gap of 6 mm. Now, how do you put up circle B, which just about touches like A and C? So here's C, and this is the quadrant of C. Now I attach to the quadrant of uh, A, and then I can move, let's make sure the ortho is on, and then we move C from A by about 6 mm. Okay, now that's that was the easy part. Okay, now what we need to do is, draw a line between the center of B and the center of C. Now we need to bring B close to C. How we do that is by holding on to B by the point of intersection between the line and B. Move it to the intersection point between the line and C. Now the circles are tangential. Now what we need to do is draw a line from the center and trim it. Now this line joins the two centers of the circles. Now we need to do the same thing with A and B now. Now how do we do that? This is the center of B, this is the center of A. Now what we need to do is move B by the intersection point and attach it to the intersection point between this line and circle A. Of course it only joins either of the circles. Now how do we get B to join both the circles tangentially? Here again we need to draw a line from the center and just drop it anywhere you want to and trim this line so that we have two lines we have a line joining the center of A and B just like we had a line between C and B and now what we, that was the tricky part and this is how I do it I'm not sure there could be multiple ways of doing it but uh, this is how I do it I draw a circle from the center of A onto the center of B. I mean in a very traditional system if you were working with a compass and a piece of paper you would be drawing an arc. Now arc is of course a part of a circle so I just trimmed it so that uh, we only get an arc. So the center of B would only move along this arc. All right. Now we draw another circle from here the center of C onto the center of the previous center of B and we again trim it. So we've got two arcs here. All right, now, now we remove these lines just to make it slightly more clear. So the center of B has to lie in the intersection of these two arcs, which is quite easy. Now the Currently the center is here, we just take it and move it on to the center of the two arcs. All right. And now we've got a circle that is tangential to, circle B is tangential to, to circle A and C. That's how I do it. Thank you for watching.